Okay, so now we've got all our lights in place. We've got the background, everything we need. Um, we are going to do a couple of final renders. So we're going to end up with um, two renders. One will look like that, and then the other one like that in the other scene. So I'll just minimize that for a minute. So let's just do another quick interactive test render first, just to check everything looks fine. Yep, the lighting looks okay there. So we'll stop that. And then we want to do a cloud render, which is this button here with a little cloud in the top right. So just click that once. And this will enable us to do the rendering on the actual um, V-Ray servers rather than on our local machine, um, which means you can still carry on working in SketchUp um, while that happens. So you'll see these um, the browser will open up and you'll get these screens showing. You just keep clicking Submit and Enter. Um, it's uploading the scene, view job, and then you can see it in real time, um, do the render. Just have to quickly log in again. Sometimes you have to do that, and these are all the jobs I've got at the moment, so let's click on that. And there you can see real time um, on the V-Ray servers, and that's rendering. So let's go back to our SketchUp model, um, and then the next scene we want is this one, scene four. Um, let's just make sure the light's coming in from the right direction. So we've got the sun over here. We want the sun over here instead. So click on the dome light and the rotate tool. And then so the arrow is in the direction of the sun, which means the sun rays are going to come through the window. So let's just click back to the scene. We'll do a quick test render. Just wait a couple of seconds for that to process. There we go. Um, I think I want the light a little bit more to hit this area here with the hob. So just stop that a second. So, um, so we've got the light sort of hitting that back wall. So let's just move, uh, rotate the light position. So a little bit more this way. So hopefully it will hit this um, draw unit here. So let's try that and see what happens. Yeah, that's a bit better. So it's sort of in the middle now. So uh, again, hit the cloud render and you can render as many different scenes at the same time as you want with the cloud render. So it's loading up the scene, press continue, press submit. And you just have to go through this process of clicking the buttons each time. So let's just go back uh, on this page. We can see um, this is finishing the render of that scene. And this is processing. The A few moments later. OK, so let's check back to our renders. OK, so they're finished. So when they're done, uh, you'll see the state uh, there will say completed. So just left click um, on an image, bring it up to full screen, then just right click and save as and then save it to um, wherever you want to save it. I'll call this uh, render one. And then the same thing with this one. Uh, you can um, download the zip file, which will have all the different render channels, uh, which means you can um, do quite a lot of processing uh, to the render after you've rendered it. But for speed and um, just simplicity, I never do that. I just click on the um, image and then save it. Uh, the JPEG, that is. And uh, there we are, our finished renders.